YouTube, team keep it clean. Man, I just finished watching this, like, the videos, it's like so stupid, but it's so funny at the same time. I saw it from Marlon Humphrey's Twitter, where this lady is on a plane, and she's apparently, she got a cat on the plane, but she acting like it's a baby, and it's this little mini uproar. And then just, you just gotta watch it, man. It's super stupid, but it's super funny. It had me like crying, laughing. Anyway, um, team keep it clean. Uh, I, I wonder if this is the Ravens, like their busiest season, having so many people on, on and off the active roster and having so many people on and off the practice squad. Uh, they just made another signing today, uh, Daryl Worley. Uh, and this is a more familiar face, um, and because he he's somebody that he he has a lot of starts uh, in the league. Um, you no, know, Jeff Zrebic when he's talked about it today, he said he he started fifty four games in his career. So the Ravens, with three games left, they they are still in the mix. They're still in the hunt. If they went out, they're in. <laughs> but and that's a big if. But if they went out. They should be good. They should be straight. They should be in there. Uh, but that would literally, that would take a lot. Um, it would take a lot to win out. But it's not impossible. Uh, but anyway, they they lost Marlon Humphrey. Uh, we uh, we already know the whole story with their secondary. Um, all their starting secondary is out. Uh, Tavon Young right now, concussion protocol. We'll see if he returns to practice tomorrow or sometime this week. Um. With Chuck Clark, he was on the COVID list. We'll see if he returns this week. He should. Tavon Young is more questionable than than Chuck Clark would be, in my opinion. But we'll see because <laughs> we won't know till they're out there. Um, but then Kevon Seymour, uh, Robert Jackson, number seventeen. Um, all those guys, they they don't really have that much experience as starters. Um, they certainly got thrown into that fire on Sunday. Um, and then, of course, we still got Anthony Avery. Shout out to Anthony Avery because Anthony Avery has been, I think he did miss one game this year, though. But, I mean, on the Ravens team, who hasn't missed the game? Everybody done missed the game this year. Uh, but shout out to Anthony Avery for sort of being our uh, Iron Man at the cornerback position. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, now, with, with Worley, he played... For let's see, he played for the Panthers from 2016 and 2017. So he played for them for two years. 2016, he started 11 games, and so his rookie year, he came out start. Okay, I'm with it, man. He got thrown into the fire right from jump. But rookie year started 11 games. Uh, for sophomore year started 14 games. And let's look at these numbers. How about it? Well, let's look. Let's look. Let's look at the, the starts first. Um, and then 2018 uh, and 19, he played for the Raiders. Started nine games and started 15 games. Then in 2020, uh, he played for the Bills and the Cowboys and the Raiders. Um, and then this year, he played for the Detroit Lions. So I'm not sure what happened over the past couple of years. I'm not sure why he got released from the Lions or what the status of that was. Maybe he was on their practice squad. Or I, I don't know. But bottom line is with Worley, the Ravens are getting somebody Who's been there and done that a lot, like a whole lot, and they need more of that. Um, and and you saw it this week. Uh, the the Aaron Rodgers, he is not stupid. Um, he like you didn't really see Anthony A Anthony Avery was pretty quiet. You didn't really see too much go his way, unless I'm mistaken. But I don't remember Anthony Avery really giving up too much of anything. Again, unless I'm mistaken, but I don't remember really seeing him out there like that. I remember a lot of plays going to 17's way, Robert Jackson. I remember some plays going to Kevon Seymour's way, but a lot went to Robert Jackson. So Aaron Rodgers, he made sure. He's like, man, I'm taking advantage of this. I'm taking full advantage of this. And that's what you do when somebody doesn't have that experience like that. So that was smart on Aaron Rodgers' part in the Packers. Uh, their offense to take advantage on one of Ravens' weaknesses. And with Robert Jackson, it's okay. You you learn. You live and you learn. It happens. O only way to go from here is up. That's it. Um, so, Daryl Worley, welcome to the team. I'm, I'm sure you will be getting called up right away.
right away. I, I don't think it's going to take long at all for him to get the call up. Not at, not long at all. I mean, you, you, you saw Tony Jefferson. Like, this dude just got here. And then you saw that 31, number 31, already out there on the field. He just got here. So I'm sure it'll be the same thing with Worley. Now, um, you win some, you lose some. Uh, and and is, this is not just the case when it comes to games. This is the case when it comes to Ravens players as well. Ravens will get some guys back like Nick Boyle. He came through. And him and Ben Cleveland, they were a huge part of the running game this, this week. Huge part of the running game. And just you, you saw this shift and you saw this change with the running game. And I'm like, whoa, let's go. Uh, and Pernell McPhee. They took him off of injury reserve, so he was allowed to start practicing. Um, he wasn't on the active roster. He's not on the active roster yet, but they did remove him from injury reserve. So he has 21 days to get activated to the active roster from the date that they uh, removed him from injury reserve. But just a little hold up. Just a little, little, little tiny hold up. He got added to the COVID list. This dude literally just got back, and now he's on the COVID list. He just got back. Ain't even been back for a full week yet. Barely been back, what? A couple days? And he's already on the COVID list. So, uh, and now, like, you, 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 you're just seeing, again, around the league, every single team, like, over these past, really, this, this past week, you have seen so many players get added to the COVID list from their team, and it has just been... A mess. I, I actually thought that um, last week, I thought that uh, the NFL might might think about putting everything on pause for maybe like a week. But they were like, no, we're just going to rearrange some things. Of course, the Browns and the Raiders, they played their game last night. Thank you, Raiders, for helping the Ravens out. Appreciate y'all. Uh, and then and I saw some Ravens fans like, man, how, how did we lose to both of these teams? Ugh. Close games, but <laughs> a close loss is the same as a blowout loss because it still counts as a loss. Anyway, um, yeah, I saw some Ravens fans say that, and I thought that was funny. Uh, and But, yeah, the, the Browns game and the uh, Raiders game, that got rescheduled because that was supposed to be on Saturday, but it got moved to Monday. Then the Seahawks and Rams, they play tonight, I believe. And there's another game on tonight that got rescheduled too, but I cannot think of who it is, what game it is, what teams it is. I, I, I don't remember because this just been – it's been crazy. So um, hopefully Pernell McPhee can get cleared. Uh, in time for the game Hopefully Justin Houston can get cleared in time for the game Hopefully Chuck Clark can get cleared in time for the game Jimmy Smith, Chris Westry And just Sammy Watkins <laughs> Hopefully we can get all those guys back in time for the game Because Ravens just Season is crazy The season has just been Been out of this world because they have just, they gone through it. This team done been through the ring of man. But they keep pushing. They keep fighting. That's what I say, man. Like, I know uh, injuries. Like, Ravens lost their whole team from injury. Their whole, every, everybody. <sighs> but they still been fighting. They ain't been getting blown out. And that's a nice moral victory. But they, they still got the ability to get some stuff done. They really do. Um, now, with uh, them signing Daryl Worley, I, th we had a couple of questions from subscribers this week that we've done already. Uh, so y'all stay on the lookout for those videos. But I'm going to ruin one for you right now. A couple people asked about Bashar Breeland. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would be down for that all day. What, what could it hurt? I don't know if he's, a, if he's a man corner, he's a zone corner. I don't know what his strengths are, his weaknesses are. But it could not hurt the Ravens situation at all. It couldn't hurt. No, he was over there fighting with his coaches and stuff. Hey, <laughs> the only way I see him fighting with Ravens coaches is if John Harbaugh approached him as a defender. He was like, hey, should we go for two or should we kick the extra point and trust y'all? And he'd be like, oh, no, hey, just kick the extra point. Trust us. Uh, no, we going for two. I already made up my mind. Team, keep it clean. We out.